Hey YouTube, this is L Lopez 29 and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, make your Pokemon Nubanaga Ambition game work on your Ace card. In this case, this is Ace card 2i I'm going to use, and also on your 3 3DS. So these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a 3DS, you're going to need an Ace Card 2i, and a SD card reader that you can put into your computer, which you also have to have. And my computer is right over here. So, we're going to, I'm going to now show you how to do that. Well, if you have all this stuff, that's great, but you have to download the ROM first. It's actually not just the game we're we're going to also talk about well this is really about the patch so how to patch it because you can just download the game easily from i mean the rom or web or website so okay if you if you download the rom it should look like this and it should be in japanese because the translation turns it into english and you know, just take those files, have those files downloaded, and then you download this patch, the Nobunaga Ambition patch where you can find online. You uh you download both of those. It's best if you if they're on the desktop, but I have them in the folder, so it's better if they're in the desktop because the next thing I'm about to show you helps it work better. When they're both on the desktop, so I got all of we have all of that on there. So we're going to go. Well, I'm just going to pick up. You have to download this. This is a thing that comes with the patch. It should come with the patch. If you're, it's called X Delta G or uh, G U I. And in, when you open up the folder, it's like uh, 512 megabytes. When you open up the folder, you have these two um, folders, Delta X, Delta Option 1 and 2. You want to go to the second one. And you want to open up this application right here, X, Delta, U, I. Open that up. And then you'll get this interface the program will uh, come onto your screen. Um, and this is how you're going to patch your ROM of your Pokemon Nubanaga Ambition. Uh, so first you have to... The patch, it should be an X-Delta file, which we're going to have to search for, so open it up. So open up your uh, folder, or no, go onto your desktop and find that file, sorry, find the X-Delta patch, and um, yeah, I already have it, so I'm, I'm going to still try to look for it, though. Okay, so I go to... Do, do, do. Okay. You want the patch first. You don't want to put the ROM in that space because that's not where it's supposed to go. And I think I finally found the patch. Yeah, so I got the patch. And now for the source file, that's where you're going to put your ROM. So that ROM you downloaded before of the Pokemon Nubanaga, you put it in there. Now this is the tricky part, the part that gets a lot of people. You have to, um, the the output file is the uh, folder that you want to um, call your game. This is the name you'll see on your on your Ace card or Flash card or whatever you're using. So um, let me get closer. Output file will be the name. So what you want to do is you have Go to the patch. The best thing to do is go to the X Delta file, and then click on your X. Okay, yeah. 
let your X delta file go there in that in output file, but don't patch it yet. You have to change the X delta, the dot X delta to NDS. Make sure it's dot NDS before you press the patch. Um, in this case, it's already NDS since I already patched it. Then you click patch. Now this stuff should be on your desktop, so it's much easier. When I put it in the folder, I kind of had problems, so it's better if it's on the desktop. Then you press patch, and then once it's done patching, you you'll have that new file, that NDS file, with the name that you wanted, and then you basically put that onto your ACE card. Now you take out the SD card reader. I forgot to say that this had to be in. But for time purposes, I'm not using it.